Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com. If you enjoy running, you are bound to encounter these conditions that prevent you from getting out and running. It's raining or snowing, perhaps the temperature is too cold or too hot, or maybe it's simply because you're in a bad mood and don't want to go out. This is when you consider buying a treadmill, but after all, it's rare that you can't go out, and a treadmill takes up a lot of space. We previously did a review video of a foldable treadmill, the Walking Pad R1 Pro which was a great solution to the above problems. Two years later, Walking Pad has also launched their updated version, the Walking Pad R2. As it happens, we have both Walking Pads and in this video looks at the differences between the R1 Pro and R2. Many of the core specifications of the Walking Pad R2 are the same as those of the R1 Pro. For example, they both use brushless motors. The racetrack is still made of four different layers of materials and a good racetrack will protect your knees during jogging. There are two wheels at the bottom, but the R2's wheels are more protruding and easier for you to move around. Both safety clips and remote controls are the same, even interchangeable remotes can be controlled. The most important foldable feature has not been changed too much in the R2. Probably the walking pad team felt that this was the best way to fold it. Twist, pull, then open. And use it in just three steps. In terms of functionality, there is no difference between the R1 Pro and the R2. So you're curious, where exactly has the walking pad R2 been upgraded? The first difference you can easily see is the design of the R2, which has a more squared off look with a lot of right angle aesthetic design and a new screen design with more curves, which makes the R2 look even better. Of course, it doesn't just look beautiful, it's also much more comfortable to use. The walking pad R2 has a brighter screen than the R1 Pro and uses a dark acrylic background, looks more premium. When we unfold them and take a closer look, many design details have been changed. Although the race track has not been upgraded, it has been made with a non-slip design next to the pedal. When you need to take a break, these rubber dots help you to stand more safely on them. Not only has the pedal been upgraded, but the material of the hand drills has also been changed from the previous aluminum to steel, enhancing the stability of the whole hand drill. The build quality of the R2 has gotten even better. When you raise the hand trail to its highest level and shake it with your hand, the difference in stability is very obvious. Also, the handle is thoughtfully designed with finger protection. When you press down fully, there is a large gap to prevent you from pinching your own fingers. Hand drills knobs have also been made larger for easier handling. Let's move up to the hand drill storage box, which has also been upgraded. The R1 Pro storage box can only hold your phone in a vertical position. If you have a large phone with a large lens, you may not be able to fit it horizontally. You cannot put anything else in there, but the R2 storage box is not just for placing your phone at any angle. You can also put your drinks, snacks, safety clips, and remote controls on it. And because the R2 hand drill is more stable, you don't have to worry about anything falling off. After a few days of use, I still prefer the walking pad R2's auto mode, which is also available on the R1 Pro and adapts to your walking speed when you use it. When your foot is in the front half of the racetrack, it speeds up. When your foot is in the back half, it slows down. This way you can do without the remote control and free your hands. Adjust the speed according to what you are doing. When you are replying to a message, for example, it can be slower. When you are watching a video, it can be faster. When you are concentrating on running, you can run up at the 6 km per hour. If you want, use it with a standing desk and you can even work out at home while you work. Avoid the chronic diseases associated with sedentary lifestyle. It may be a little bit hard to get used to this mode for the first time, but once you get used to it, I'm sure you'll love it. 
Okay, this is the end of this video. You can easily see that the Walking Pad R2 is actually a slightly upgraded version of the R1 Pro. The R2 has better build quality and is much more beautiful. And many of the designs are more user friendly. If you don't think you need all these upgrades, then the R1 Pro, which has the same core features, but it's cheaper, is actually a very good choice. Which one would you choose? Feel free to leave your comments in this comment section. I'm James from Gizmo China, and I'll see you in the next time. Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com.